Anybody notice anything different? Oh, your glasses. No, oh. I was talking about his makeup. Oh, <laughs> I was like, they're no longer. <laughs> right. I was like, you're no longer going to have a ring light. We all have head. microphones. I um, thought the same thing. I was going to say, what, you're not wearing glasses? Like, yeah. yeah, that's funny. I did just get back from a photo shoot. I've been really booked today. <laughs> so <laughs> yeah. we got him from his busy schedule. Well, thank God. <laughs> um, we have a fourth microphone for mom. Yeah. So yeah. no more sharing. And between. I did lose the glasses because you told me to. Good job. Well, yeah. you look great. Well, I came prepared this time as well with choosing a video. Hold on, wait. Do you have the formal intro? Uh, hi. <laughs> Welcome back you? to another episode of Hindsight with your hosts. <laughs> yeah, if you uh, still care, we're back. It is another episode of Hindsight, and we're going to be, guess what? Watching old videos again. That's kind of the whole point of this. Woo. Let's do it. I think we should watch our best idea ever. I feel like since it did well, maybe it has... More entertainment value. I don't know. Do you try. think that's a safe bet? We can try. I'm trying to remember where the refrigerator came from. Was that like, was it a deep freeze or if I can't remember? It was a deep freeze. It was. Mm. <laughs> was it the one that it just died? Because I, I did buy a new one. Yeah. So. This is details no one ever could okay. possibly care about. But yeah, <laughs> you know, it sat in her garage and. Um, the whole I, point of this podcast is to give details that they didn't know about deep freezes. Sure. Whether, whether it was a deep freeze or a fridge. Listen. Okay. Um, <laughs> we decide what you care about here. Yeah, I guess. I remember us wheeling it to the backyard strictly for this. Me too. It was a lot of fun. It's something I would do today. I mean, I, every spring I'm like, "Hey, mom, how stupid is it to dig out my pond and hope it holds water?" Mm -hmm. We <laughs> have that another... discussion every year. Pretty yeah, much. yeah. Mm. I have dumped mm, tens of thousands of dollars into literal mud holes. That uh, <laughs> not my proudest <laughs> moment. Ah. Uh, He's learning, folks. All right, let's get into it. <laughs> uh, we were out moving stuff for my grandpa this morning at like six. Address clearly so, in the back. Like the <laughs> oh, I wonder how people noon. found our house. <laughs> <laughs> we're at Dylan's house, and we're going to look for a... Uh, Dylan's yeah, address Dylan's <laughs> clearly <laughs> in the shot. <laughs> oh, God. Yeah, like you said in the last one, definitely no expectation of no. getting millions of views. That Might is... want to blur, blur that out now these days. Would it matter? Yeah, I mean, I recently went back and... Uh, private videos with my current house just all plastered over it and I don't like share it on snap I, I share the back I mean if someone really wanted to hunt me down they probably could listen I got a nine millimeter nine millimeter <laughs> nine millimeter Glock sitting in my nightstand all right I've been training with Quentin in the backyard it's long perfectly range. legal here in case you're wondering I really don't know how to use it very well you'd probably win um <laughs> But I have a can of bear mace for truck camping, so that's safe, right? Mm. Yeah. Why are you guys all looking at me? Because you're, you're the, the one expert, that's always right? worried about like safety. Yeah. Yeah. We should go into that real quick. I feel like that is really interesting. Let's not. <laughs> <laughs> well, it's not going to reveal anything other than give insight into a very interesting dynamic of our... Uh, I, I, so, back, <laughs> so back in the day no <laughs> you don't want to talk about it'll like, probably come up in a video i'm sure you talk talked about, about it <laughs> no you don't have to go into details of your trauma you can just explain why it exists a little bit why why would someone why would we call you the security expert <laughs> <laughs> um because when one person is aggressively not caring about big one's scary safety. man shadow young girl enter property mm -mm, scare <laughs> yeah there you go <laughs> a great description i'm sure you got you a wanted to plaster the address everywhere she was scared for her life eventually for good reason i didn't want to plaster the address i just needed thumbnails of the fronts of our house for our new house and this i remember that was a point of contention yeah she was like i'm not letting you do that i'm not living here which is fair but i blurred the address but People can still kind of find things, I it's guess. It's just too much technology. It's easier for people to they find. They did. Have I you seen the TikTok videos where the dudes, they're, they're like, oh, find me. And they're at a random street corner and the dude finds them. The yeah. exact street corner that they're at. That's sketch. Yeah. I'll literally say I have Snapchats of me. Like, well, it's video footage and I Snapchatted it. Me like doing a video and then me looking out the window and there's people doing a photo shoot in front of our house. Or like driving by and I'm sitting there like. When you get home and there's someone in your backyard, that's a little... Yeah, that Concerning. happened. A lot, a lot of strangers invited themselves yeah. over. Yeah, they were having trampoline sessions. I was like, I didn't. The video never said come hang out. <laughs> like, well, I have thing. a place for that now, though. If you'd like to come to the what if we pad. had landmines <laughs> in our yard? 
Might have been a thing. I was trying to plug the flip pad. I got a oh, freaking sorry. business I'm starting up. It's called the Flip Pad Trampoline Gym. If you never heard of it, it's in Augusta, Kansas. None of you live nearby, but we we have like exclusive best trampolines in the world, um, all under one roof. Mm. And I might be there. I'm there like every few weekends. So uh, if you're like me, love flips, was willing to drive ten hours to use a super tramp. We've got all of them in the best setup you'll ever find. All right. Uh, visit the website for more. For more. <laughs> All right. Anyway. Um, yeah, our entire family vacay was mapped around your desire to go to a trampoline park when you were 11. Yeah. And the rest is history. Drove 10 hours to go to Colorado. Woodward Copper. No, it wasn't Woodward. This well, was that was Jump Street. But the main yeah. one we drove for the Super Tramp was Woodward Copper 2015. Yeah. yeah. Um, I have a lot to say on this topic. Oh, yeah, I'm sure you do. Oh. Um, about the topic of the shadow man, I want to explain a little bit so it's not. <laughs> 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 Basically what had happened. So there's one kind of specific story that started. Um, Can I tell it since I was there? I was there, too. No, you no, weren't. weren't. <laughs> well, I was fault. the cause you of it. You were. <laughs> me and Taylor were the ones home. Let me explain the cause. I would love to hear everybody's cause. little take on it because I have you have four people. I bet you have four different versions. I'm just all gonna right. tell you all how I reacted when he's done. Okay. Um. Basically, I was a very kind of irresponsible 17 year old who would go about 70 mile an hour in his very fast car through very loud car a very nice neighborhood. You went 70 through the neighborhood often. Um, well, yeah, just no, no regard for anyone else who might want to, you know, enjoy the quiet neighborhood. Um, and so I did that one evening, uh, in 2017 and a homeowner nearby was, I guess, fed up with this. And he came into our garage cause we have a gate by our front door for fans that were coming up to it. He and tried to come in the gate first. He grabbed it and he like shook it. She mm. could see him from up above. That's from what my got bedroom. Her freaked out. Mm. Yeah. Yeah. So she ran. Big man. He's <laughs> a guy. Big, yeah. Older gentleman. Uh, probably my age now. But anyway, so she ran downstairs to shut the garage doors. Because Tanner didn't. Yeah. And so she opened the interior garage door to push the button, and uh, he's standing right there. And he said, I don't know who you are, but I'll tell you who I am. Thought he had a knife in his hand. Turns out he didn't, supposedly. But she was 14. Right. Yeah. And what what'd you do? I slammed the garage door shut, uh, locked it, ran upstairs crying, got Luna and Rose into Tristan's room. And uh, then I- the fuck out, called mm -hmm. mom. I proceeded to grab my katana, real, had a sword, was prepared to go down there and go full Michonne on a mother <laughs> Didn't have to. That's good. I was going to say he's watched too much Walking Dead. I haven't watched enough. So he was still in the garage when you shut, not the big garage door, you shut the small one. He was still in the garage when you had ran away thinking this I guy was. I didn't shut the, the garage door. I shut yeah. the door to the garage. Yeah. Yeah. The one so he was house. still like right inside the garage as you're kind of running away thinking this guy is yep. going to harm you. Yep. Yeah. Definitely understandable how that can, you know, cause a. Slight trauma response, and I do apologize. We've, it's I mean, not talk slight. <laughs> yeah, it's not slight at all. That's true. No, she slept with me for two months. Yeah. No, I didn't. Yes, you did. I don't remember. I don't remember. Well, I don't <laughs> imagine how you would remember. It. It Nobody so blamed you. I Nobody blocked it out. Yeah. <laughs> well, I remember. Yeah, I mean, obviously, to this day, you still are like, hey, you should like lock your doors and stuff, which I've began doing. Maybe telling people that you just started doing that is probably a <laughs> horrible idea. Well, hey, now I do it, and it doesn't matter if I was in the past. <laughs> but well, you, you used to say you had security cameras. Now you actually have security cam cameras. As if those are going to save a life. Well, I know, but at least with you With Luna gone, evidence. maybe I should get a throat-ripping dog that can <laughs> just That's true. live on the premise. I, it's not, not really sure. a concern anymore. For a time, we did have a man with a, an actual rifle that sat at our house, that house. Mm -hmm. It was after that incident. Um, we had... Whenever that had happened, she ran upstairs, uh, called mom. She was obviously freaked out. And then uh, our neighbor came over with a shotgun to evaluate and it. Pistol. He he cased the entire property with a gun to make sure nobody was there. That's yeah. what good old Second Amendment for. If that's and he's the a amendment. doctor. Very nice dude. Mm. Shout out, Hey, Brad. thanks, bro. Yeah. Saving lives in multiple ways. <laughs> yeah. And then what else happened? Uh, well, I you called you and told you to stay away. Yeah. And you and your intelligent self did the exact opposite sped <laughs> home comes up in the driveway 
And then you're in between the, so the guy came back because he heard you come back. Mm, yeah. And that's when we had the confrontation in the driveway. And at this point, I didn't know she was traumatized because if so, I would have unloaded on him. Yeah. But I didn't know. I just was trying to defuse the situation because you were a hothead. He was a jerk. And so Brad, the neighbor and I are sitting there trying to just, you know, yeah. get you two to stop. I remember the mad neighbor, like, because at that point, my mentality to all authority and older people was up yours like just because that's I'm not gonna they, lie rehearing the story makes me want to go find him and beat us just saying <laughs> I mean he wasn't really in the wrong but I no mean, but like go don't announce yourself in a threatening manner to a kid the he, f is wrong I mean, with you he was in the wrong for trying to open our gate and you also trespassed mother so like into yeah. the house I mean he also knew that you know we were dealing with privacy concerns so to just do what he did. Obviously, that's going to cross a line. Also, mind you, the light, it was dark outside. It was like... It was dusk. It was it was dark. Yeah, it was night. It was entering nighttime. Yeah, and you're then, not the neighborhood's so, keeper. Call the cops. Bro looked like a shadow. I you The lights were on in the house. He could tell that he was talking to a child. Like, yeah. he knows that that wasn't an adult. Yeah, he yeah. was just pissed. I definitely looked like I was 13, 14. Yeah. Like, yeah, he definitely shouldn't have acted like that. <laughs> I promise we'll get into the video soon. But, right. Uh, <laughs> for 21 seconds in. <laughs> no, I think this is more interesting than anything we'll watch probably. Uh, well, so that's that's why I like this series because you acknowledging that you were a punk, not doing what you should do. And then I was trying to... I told Well, I remember you that. yelling at that dude when he started yelling at me and then you being like, Back okay, up. no, yeah. <laughs> yeah like you don't get to yell at the neighbor. Like, he, he's wrong but you need to back up and yeah, yeah because it, it wasn't okay. And I told the neighbor, I said, I'm not trying to defend what he's doing, but you need to not just come on my property and act like this. And so he backed down, but it wasn't until this was like right before the holidays and that neighborhood had a whole gift exchange thing that we did. Mm. So I was taking our little gift exchange around to the neighborhood and one of the neighbors who Let's just say she stays informed with the comings and goings of the neighborhood, <laughs> and I don't. God. She asked me about it, and I told her, you know, the frustration and what had happened and all of that, and it was a couple days later that neighbor stopped you, remember that, on the street and told you, please apologize to your mom and your sister. Oh, so yeah. So it was like, that was what frustrated me because I'm going, he's an attorney. He's a grown-ass man. He could have come and apologized to her directly you know, to try to do it by, you know, through you yeah. was a little ridiculous. I do not accept the apology on behalf of whoever. <laughs> oh. it, it was a big deal. Yeah. Well, obviously. <laughs> well, I mostly feel bad for Taylor because, you know, obviously that's changed her perception of just safety and just general. safety in general. And like, I've I mean, never I, had to deal with that. I've had people act kind of crazy and awkward and like, but I've never felt like, oh, I better lock every door and check every closet before I go to bed or I'm going to die tonight like this has never been a thought yeah it's kind of like a luxury belief i guess the world is a scary place these mm. days I, but i also feel like it's there are safe places and there's i mean we've always kind of disagreed on how dangerous and just things are and places are and i don't you know nothing wrong with it if you want to lock everything but You're i would always so not a woman that's, that's even worse yeah trafficking is a thing that's the thing that, that is really... I'm not going to argue I'm with you on that. Uh, I will say, I would always try to come to your house when she still lived there. Mm -hmm. I could never get in the f house <laughs> because everything was locked. And then the garage door didn't work. <laughs> and then I'd be calling people. They wouldn't answer. I'm freezing outside. I got a handful of crap. And then you go crawl through the little basement window. No. Like you the, in the old house, <laughs> not here. <laughs> people know I went through the window well. I made jokes about sneaking out with Quentin. Mm. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> All right. So... Anyway, uh, resolution is all's well that ends well. Not really. <laughs> no. <laughs> I would also like to say I'm She's not working on it. Hey, I'm not actively threatening this man. I don't even know what he looks like. All I do have to say is you are a. F <laughs> Could you do that right. in like G-rated terms so he doesn't have to bleep you out? No, I'm kidding. No. <laughs> I, I kind of meant what I said. Yeah. Um, I meant what I said, and I said what I meant. Mm -hmm. And elephants faithful one hundred percent. Well, we hope that Taylor continues to figure out uh, the safety thing. I hope you don't have to be super obsessed about it your whole life because I feel like that's not good. Not going to happen. Yeah. I have OCD. Eh, that's <laughs> fair. 
Well, maybe you'll... quite literally in the name. Real moral of Obsessive. the story is don't go 70 miles an hour through your neighborhood and also don't randomly um, uninvite your... Well, what am I trying to say? Invite yourself to your neighbor's property in a threatening manner. Yeah. Usually doesn't work. Just skip over your f authority Justin Bieber phase of your life. <laughs> right. <laughs> all right. Let's get into the actual video. Oh, yeah. You just get shotgun all the time. How about I take a shotgun to your face? This is the second spring free. <laughs> oh, my God. Now we're at Quincy's house. <laughs> In your slide. <laughs> I hate these. Mm. Every time something like this starts happening, I know it's just going to... It's just gonna go wrong. Well, wow. right, <laughs> and there we go. <laughs> Quentin's address. We really <laughs> nailed every <laughs> single like, address. You can stop by everyone's house. Yeah, I'm surprised after this we didn't stop by dad's and grandma's. Just <laughs> you just said we're going to grandma's, so you might. Is that what I said? Yes. Really? <laughs> Are you listening to your own video? <laughs> nope. <laughs> oh my god. You said grandma and grandpa's meaning a dolly at my parents' house is what I'm assuming. Oh yeah, that oh. makes sense. Well, Her grandpa was an auctioneer. My had dad, your grandpa. My grandpa, <laughs> uh, he had just way too much stuff. Anything and everything you could ever want. Including a dolly for a freezer so you could jump off it into your pool. Mm. Necessary. A trampoline burn on my nose. Cover it all up but his picture. As if it matters, you just showed it. <laughs> <his laughs> Tell me this was a turbo button. <laughs> I want to climb that so bad. We're here. The number of times so you used to ask them. me about climbing water towers and random stuff like that, you used to argue with me. I'm like, you cannot climb that. I though. still want to do that. I know. It's still not When I see them. <laughs> like, often. I just can't help myself. <laughs> it's in my DNA. <laughs> um. Oh, yeah. What else? Oh, yeah. The lack of privacy concern. And then we wonder how phone numbers got leaked and all this crap. People, you know, is calling us and it's so funny. People got your phone number from this old real estate sign. Mm -hmm. Your old phone number. Yeah. Yeah. That's the thing. That's kinda, <laughs> you might want to like... re-say that so it sounds a little more convincing. <laughs> <laughs> Her old phone number. Don't oh, go look for old, it. Your old... I'm just going to put this out there. I sell real estate. Please do not call my phone asking for Tanner. You will not get him. I will not relay the message. You will not talk to him. Just throwing that out. But what if they want to talk to you? If they want to talk to me and want to look at houses, that's great. But it's like, oh, yeah, it's it's a thing. I still don't have a greeting on my phone. And I need to change it because I really need to have a greeting on my phone. But I don't know about having a greeting. <laughs> it's like it confirms yeah. who I am. Probably not. But hopefully people are old enough now to be understanding. No, and they're also, not. I think so. I and think also, people stay stupid. How could you ever think that you'd be, oh, yeah, I'll put them on. They'll be right here. Hey, hey, yeah. Hold on. The delusions <laughs> run deep. Some people deep, are deep. just genuinely like, they're just genuine fans. I mean, I don't mean to bash people. It's just... You know, when you were 12, you wanted to go stalk the Duck Dynasty people. You were fully convinced. Yeah, and you didn't but let me. I know, but but what I'm saying is if there's no barrier. I was if, like, yeah, let's go to their house and ask for an autograph. No. But if when you were 12, you couldn't just Google and find something. And then if you could have Googled and found someone's phone oh, number. Oh, I did. Gr well, not the phone number, but the address. Grandma just said, we're not doing that. We had people literally bringing their kids to our house like it's a daycare. Yeah. Grown adults, yeah. not a fan. Just trying so, to get their 10 year olds off their back. So doing this is even kind of interesting because we don't know what it's going to bring around again. And I'm over here going, I still have to make a living. You're getting ready to start real estate. You're not going to be around here. So you're good. Mm -mm. All, of a sudden <laughs> Bye -bye. We, all of a sudden we hope the hindsight series flops. No, Let's I, go. Want no. It, I want good. it to go well. I just hope people are respectful. I'm sure. Yeah. All right. Dolly, but this one was too small. So we were gonna quit looking, but but we found this big this green is, one back see, there. See, that's my dad's so. shop. Definitely your dad's house. Yeah, <laughs> I got it out of there. Mostly. That's the small one. There's a second building with a million times more stuff than that. Yeah. At least fifty times more. It stuff. It took a year after he passed away to go through all the stuff. Now we're gonna go look at yeah, the plane real quick. I don't doubt that. That's like the biggest <laughs> fu to the family. <laughs> <laughs> we're entering that building right now, actually. Look at that crap. I mean, yeah, and it went yeah, forever. It was a huge building with an airplane in it. It was a hangar. Whenever yep. I was little, I backed oh. Up into a katana. I can't oh believe God. this was on YouTube that entire time. Oh my gosh. Yeah, yeah. nobody, nobody went ever and robbed him. Just next to the cars. Wow. So much stuff. Race, like NASCAR races. Yeah. That's crazy. Uh, okay, let's go. I can't it's believe we have documentation of it. It's actually kind of cool. Back. Yeah, it is cool. All I did was take a Rip Gramps. Yeah. I don't know how I survived being your parent. <laughs> <laughs> 
<laughs> you supported me in every way you could. You bought the in-ground trampoline because yeah, they did cheer and he did choir and show choir they. in the plays. They, I'm them. the only <laughs> one who did cheer. <laughs> um, that's true. You and you. And then mom did the trampoline for me and then, you know, helped me move fridges. You were literally like trying to keep a leash on a rabid dog. That I had to like try to keep from like... Killing, killing everyone. Killing anyone or yourself, but still go do what you love. What's funny is that um, wasn't even for content. Like I just wanted to jump off the damn fridge. That was just you from the time you were five. I mean, yeah. didn't you see that? Well, the picture of you with a black eye the other day when we were... Oh, yeah. Mm -hmm. The picture yeah. of you standing like with your gum out the bathtub <laughs> the little baby picture the one that i showed you the one that you put on your story trip. you're like a purple towel and you have the gum oh yeah. yeah yeah i don't know if you if you've shared it on your story yeah yet, he did yeah you did? how did i miss it i always watch your follow story. me on snapchat tanner underscore b24 yeah. another plug that's where i make my money at the moment <laughs> it'll disappear tomorrow and i'll be back on youtube but uh but yeah that, we're here now <laughs> that picture is so you you've just been a little hmm <laughs> wonderful child from the moment you came out <laughs> let's been go a just rebel. a little menace <laughs> yeah oh, those aren't mine there we go notice the mattress on the back side of the house because that's normal <laughs> that was from using that to jump into the pool I want to do this again watching this right now that's how you know you're passionate oh back when I could get my friends to flip I mean I oh double back I have friends that flip now they just don't live here Everybody outgrew it around me. <laughs> it looks fun. I mean, it le looks completely dangerous. Oh, yeah, it's just... I was surprised yeah. the fridge never fell. Well, you were holding it. Most of your everything. Oh yeah, that's right. True. See how responsible we were. So responsible. <laughs> yeah, that response. <laughs> I just love how such a simple concept can hit the brains of these viewers and be like, yeah, I want to watch this. Well, like you were doing sh that. Their parents would have never let them do so. You were—they were living vicariously so through you. What does that you. say me as a from say about me as a parent? I don't know. If it's <laughs> it's <or> bad. <laughs> Dylan, a perfect like form guy. He's about to lose his shorts. <laughs> he probably did. Oh lord. He's so skinny. Um, <laughs> anyway. Yeah. yeah. What's that make me as a parent? Good or bad? Well, you got roasted by parents oh, yeah. a lot. Um, I got a lot of praise and I got a lot. The the one comment I that I, sticks in my memory was when you were speeding in your R8 when in California, it was that video. What? And there was this wonderful comment that somebody left. Kim is a passive enabler. Tanner <laughs> is going to end up dead and it's going to be her fault. <laughs> yeah. As if it was your responsibility yeah. to in, put me on a leash as almost an well, adult. Well, by that time you were, you were weeks away from being 18. You yeah. know, I even talked to your counselor at the time about it because I knew you were reckless, you know, to say the least. And at first he told me, well, take away the keys. You're the mom. I said, well, everybody in California wants him to live there. He can emancipate himself. And then what? Now, right now he confides in me. He tells me if he's upset. And the counselor's like, you're right. You, there's not, you can't do that. You can't take the keys because if I had take what, taken what you loved, you'd have been gone. Sounds like you should have been the counselor. We were paying that dude $300 an hour. <laughs> yeah. For that? Yeah. Wow. All I'm hearing is that some of y'all have so much sh to say. <laughs> so much. So loudly. It's easy behind a, ca behind a keyboard. It was so it's, hard to be a parent through all this. It I was can't imagine. Honestly, <laughs> controlled chaos. Single mom who was doing dual income household, trying to go to all of our different activities, pay us all equal attention, help with homework, and then make time for this extra <laughs> bullshit. <laughs> And then it just like... Good job, mom. That's why you're the best. Then it just comes in and takes over and it's like... Oh, and you're still on. helping. We're thrilled that... We no, we really lucked out. <laughs> I would probably be screwed. I'd be in a ditch <laughs> or so drug addicted and crippled if we didn't have Kimby as a mom. She's no, for real. Helping Tristan with starting a real estate business together. Best mom out there. <laughs> helping Taylor pay a little bit of the college to keep her out of debt. She's working hard too, going to work. There is a reason like all of our friends, not all, I won't generalize, are closer with her than like their own parents. Just saying. A lot, yeah, a lot of them were. A good chunk, were always, especially when we were like in, in high school and shit, yeah. There was just a lot of, I don't know, it was just a different environment at our house. And I, I held my breath every day because just like, I don't know if what I'm doing is right, but I just didn't want to squash who you were 
that I was but you knew when to, to step it. in when it was right. necessary yeah. you know yeah. we would be like hey i want to do this and you're like absolutely not like, <laughs> <laughs> the <laughs> amount of like intense that today <laughs> bro the yeah. amount of intense discussions we all had like in between videos about like what you should and should not fucking do or say numerous like for the videos you mean yes yeah well you remember the grapefruit one right yeah yeah, uh, yeah. i don't know what was going through my mind there's this video called the grapefruit technique <laughs> where this big lady uh teaches you how to gargle on some like grape uh, like you put a grapefruit a, around like a a cucumber up yeah fake pp and <laughs> teaches you how to please a man i guess it was this viral thing and i used to watch all the phase guys and these kind of personality commentator dudes and they were raunchy because they were like late teens mm. i wasn't late teens and i was 15 when you but i wanted to be like them you know i was trying to appeal to i was like no that's how i'm gonna get my foot in the door of youtube is be this you know making my mom guy. react to that video yeah. and then she did and she was like you're not uploading this i don't care <laughs> if the camera's rolling he did you can upload delete it. it it was up for 30 minutes and i found out and i lost my mind made you take it down <laughs> and then you were mad at me because you had gone through so much effort to film it and edit it and i was like yeah don't care because i was dedicated <laughs> i needed to leave school at all costs meanwhile <laughs> that was, was my ticket out pissing off the one person who's gonna let you <laughs> and i was in cincinnati interviewing for take doing a franchise with big like big money people yeah. and I'm telling the CFO oh my kid has a YouTube channel oh it's so great and then I come home and my kid has uploaded that I'm like oh hey. <laughs> No. <laughs> oh yeah, mom. that particular memory makes me cringe. Like yeah, it's yeah. one of those when it sneaks up in your brain, you're like, motherfucker! Like, oh, <laughs> oh god, shit. I hate myself. Well, why? And I, we all have them, though. I guess so. Yeah. For sure. Don't know. judge me. I know your secrets. <laughs> all right, let's watch Dylan complete this absolute <laughs> ten of a dive. <laughs> so unsafe. Wet feet, slippery. Ooh, handstand cast. And nobody's holding the freezer. Yeah, we kind of stopped doing that, I think. <laughs> <laughs> it was oh, the yeah. videos like this when things started taking off that the local parents would be like, oh, if only I had a camera when I was your age, I'd be YouTube famous too because well, I was doing the same thing. I was like, you brought a fridge to your pool? Is that what was happening? No, you were running around in the woods throwing rocks at your friends. <laughs> Something like that. I don't know. <laughs> the reality, if you pay attention, there's a lot of cuts in here. So it's not just a matter of setting a camera up and filming everything you do and throwing it on YouTube. It's put you have music to it. You're cutting and doing, you know, trying to keep it. Only the cool. entertaining things are in it. Yeah. Right. It's still a very simple set, you could say. Sure. The, right. The, the skills are decent, though. Uh, I don't think that ever carried much of the viewership. I think it was just kind of like a cherry on top. Y'all remember Jug Squad? Mm -hmm. <laughs> oh, for sure. <laughs> Got into some beef. My first Twitter beef, I remember like having like <laughs> stress stomach pain from reading this thread or what he said about me, all this stuff. Because <laughs> he was mad that I was copying his Trampoline Versus series. I don't know what he's doing But I now. thought you started the Trampoline Versus, or did he? Um, No, he made like, so I think he used that title and then I used it. But I was like, better at flips and my videos were better and, like, <laughs> and so i was doing it and i just having like yeah i felt like i was better at it was just something i was gonna do you guys squashed it later though right didn't you talk yeah, yeah playlist he, kinda. yeah he came up to me at like playlist live um and he was just like i think he filmed me and then he was like hey we'll do it back i don't know it was awkward i still had contempt for him back then and then like a year later i was like i don't care but playlist live that's a flashback i mm, mean yeah yeah anyway go ahead <laughs> okay this this is a day in the life. Kansas, Midwest family, you doing your thing. This is as crazy as it was. And then all of a sudden we're going to things like Playlist Live and you're famous. Yeah. For real. That was, a, yeah. Will forever be crazy. Even we were featured creators at one point. Yeah. Yeah, Tristan was getting on a panel with James Charles and crap. And yeah. he was like... <laughs> <laughs> Gosh, oh, I remember this. Such a bad ah! idea. He started throwing me and I really wanted to do a double. And I think I yeah I held it and then my nutsack hurt so bad. <laughs> you can Eight. hear it. I made like a pocket where all the water had nowhere to go but my actual my sack. <laughs> oh my god. There was numerous times where oh. I would get hurt like that and Quentin would be like, you did it! <laughs> Good like, job! I have a clip, triple backflip, land on my head. I get up, I'm like, I can't breathe. And he's like, Woo! <laughs> he was a cheerleader. <laughs> no, he was always sarcastic as f <laughs> even when you're hurt. <laughs> That's why I love him. That is awesome. That's funny. All right, hopefully we can make it through the last minute of this. <laughs> 
Oh my god, we thought we were bouncing so high. <laughs> People now go like triple that and do nine flips. You guys were the OGs though. It's just crazy so to think like I'm down. still at this level. <laughs> I don't want to go <laughs> past it. Because I don't want to actually die. Just do what is fun and exhilarating, but not life threatening. Because yeah. you actually, you know, have a lot. To the live. forward rotation flips are the life threatening ones. That's because if you land on your neck holding a tuck going forward, and your head goes back, um, it, has, it can go a lot further back. You land on it like this, your chin digs into your sternum, it stops. Mm -hmm. Most cases. You go forward, your head can go all the way back, and that's where people break their necks. So <laughs> we have a lot to say. Me? <laughs> yeah, they're like, stop talking about flips. I'm like, okay, no, but I want to say that for people that do like flips, like I did, and are self-taught and just want to have fun. Watch yourself. Watch the front necks, dude. Mm. That's how I've gotten the most hurt, and why I still have neck pain. Yeah, this was a great um, therapy session. <laughs> right. Tristan got to let out his anger, and we solved nothing of Taylor. <laughs> I'm just defensive of that situation. Yeah, as you should be. I'm definitely. I feel like I've moved past it. I. I didn't really, I, was I wasn't there. very considerate about it until I feel like a couple of years ago mm -hmm. because at first I was like, get over it pretty much, which is mean. So that's <laughs> like not how it works. Yeah. Right. I, well, I, cause I didn't know. I didn't have no trauma like that. I was under the impression that, okay, you got freaked out, but that's not reality. People are mostly safe and you know, we don't live in a horrible place in town. Like this is all right. I believe the opposite. Yeah. Guilty until proven innocent. <laughs> well, we did have the truck stolen out of that driveway in a perfectly wonderful neighborhood. Mm hmm. Yeah. That did. No matter where that. you live, don't leave the keys in the front seat of your truck. <laughs> <laughs> right. There was a reason for that, though. Like, I had a kidney stone and she was practicing driving. Hey, we, ha we can get to that video and then you can share that story. Well, don't go watch it. Hey, so <laughs> right. was our YouTube stardom a series of unfortunate events? Stay that's tuned. literally all it was <laughs> <laughs> it was not staged so that's the crazy part there was fortunate events along the way for sure but i want to watch the unfortunate ones yeah gives you, us more to talk thing about is you thought the truck being stolen was fortunate because it gave you it gave you a lot of content it was I as soon as it happened i was like you made like three videos out of it <laughs> uh, i think maybe two videos but both got five million views so yeah <laughs> word He's like, the content gods are smiling on me and I'm having to file insurance claims. And I think people thought it was fake. It was not fake. Yeah. Speaking no. of the content gods, um, what was my most viewed video for a long time? Coke versus Mentos bathtub challenge. <laughs> yeah. Where I just put a bathtub full of Coca-Cola and then drop Mentos into it. That was, I had like uploaded a few videos that were getting a million views at that time. Mm -hmm. Some of them. And then I had a few that just were kind of tanking. Just like my recent on my main channel. Thanks a lot. <laughs> um, <laughs> I'm just kidding. And uh, I remember going to bed and praying the day before I filmed that. I was just like, I really, you know, I need like guidance. I really want to like see my channel do well. I need to find something that'll do well. And so then the next day I was just like, yeah, let's go do like this. I think that was like my first bathtub video other than when we dropped condoms on our heads really? um, in the bathtub. <laughs> yeah, know, The condom challenge. And then I spent a lot of time in that day. <laughs> Whether yeah, or not it was did. the first first one, there was a lot that followed that, and I remember being so happy because that thing got like 10 million views in two mm -hmm. days. I was like, "Holy <laughs> sh!" See, those dopamine highs is what roped me in. Yeah, and yeah. I have to try to ignore today. Like, I I don't read comments now because I don't want the positive inflation or the negative degradation or whatever. The I read your comments a lot now, and they're overwhelmingly positive. Yeah, I know they are, and you share some of them with me, so you might break through that filter, but yeah. uh, I was... Uh, I lost my train of thought. Um, that was what the, caused you to have a dopamine high? Was oh, but, oh, yeah, just I'll, I'll ignore the comments, but I, I have to really try to not go into my analytics. I mean, you didn't... I didn't take over any of my finances for... <laughs> I mean, even in the last year, I've just now started, like... Caring. No, yeah, like caring about my own finances because I didn't want to know and it would stress me out so much knowing if I was like failing compared to last year or something. Yeah. And I would I would get like physical, horrible stomach pain from stressing out about it. So I just outsource it to you. You know, you take your cut for doing the freaking paperwork or whatever and I'm just going to keep doing what I can and you tell me if I need to stop buying stuff. <laughs> yeah, I'll let you know. Like, um, bad. I, I told you... I give you my advice. You don't always listen. But 
for the most part, you, you're you pretty conservative, except for the like recent car purchase I wasn't a fan of. Mm-hmm. It goes fast and it's blue. <laughs> you literally asked me, is there any amount of money that I could have or this car could cost where you would think it was a good idea? And I said, no. <laughs> and he's like, so I'm done talking about it. Yeah, I said, gotcha. Right. I'm doing what I want because I'm talking to a wall here. Yeah, it's still <laughs> a dumb idea. But hey, it's your life. You're right. I'd be making a lot more if it was, I don't know, invested or something else responsible. But, but you're 23 and you, it's, yeah, it's your decision. Taylor, closing thoughts. <laughs> hey, you got to talk into the thing. Hey, any closing we thoughts, need to Taylor? We do one where Taylor talks more. Well, her and I have been sitting here pretty silent when y'all are having your own little thing. My tummy hurts. Oh. <laughs> That's Why it. It explains hurt? it. I'll tell you later. <laughs> <laughs> What'd you say? She said I'll tell she'll you later. <laughs> I'll tell you later. Well, yeah. I think we just keep going with like the significant moments throughout I'm, I'm fine with that. our past and keep it going if you guys enjoy this episode um just keep watching that's really it yeah all right thank you all for watching that's it yeah yep bye bye, bye. Say, say bye taylor Leave say a like and subscribe with your word <laughs> with your voice <laughs> use your words <laughs> and there you have it <laughs> that's epic <laughs> um,